Wow. Yani umesema tufanye inspiration vibe na na yeah, phrase. Yeah, yes. We have to. <laughs> Enye yeah. when God says yes. <laughs> Any other word uh, is useless. Ni kama tu kelele. As long as God has said it, it will mm. happen. You know, even God was just telling me, Ati, nikisema, kitatendeka. Mm -hmm. Whatever I say, will happen. Yes, and, and we're doing our inspiration vibe. But today, tunaongelea about the love of God. Mm. How God's love is so reckless. You know, I met someone who was telling me that God is love. That God is not loving, but God is actually love. That his character, ye mwenyewe, ye unashikanisha hivi Mungu na love same person that god is love when you say someone is loving they usually fall out of love because they love you with conditions but when someone is love it is unconditional that is fight what to do what you say how you do it what once they decide it's they are going to love you it is unconditional it doesn't stop, it doesn't end. And that's the love of God towards us. That God is love. God is so reckless when it comes to loving us. He doesn't care. He doesn't, he doesn't care the concept. He doesn't care what you give him in return. He doesn't care how much you've sinned. It's just love. He loves you. Because the love of God is so much. It is too big, it's too, it's too powerful. <laughs> it is too strong to get you out of anywhere that you are. He will come for you, even in that darkest pit. You know, someone was telling me at me, I feel so guilty in what you have done, but don't. Because God's love will, will overpower that guilt that you have. He loves you unconditional. He doesn't care what you've done. He loves you. God loves you. And you know, I was trying to imagine, what do we mean by God is so reckless with his love towards us? And if you read the book of Luke chapter 15, Actually, the entire book, the book of uh, the entire chapter of Luke, chapter 15, it just shows us the love of God. But the one that uh, that we want to look at right now is from verse one to seven, where we see God going after this lost sheep. He didn't care about the 99. He had a hundred. Yeah, he had he had a hundred sheep, but one of them strayed. He went after that one person. He went after that one sheep. You know. He went after it and he found it and he was so happy. He put it on his shoulder. He went back home. He called his neighbors, come and see, I have found my lost sheep. Because he's so much concerned with that one person, one sinner who is going to repent than the 99 who are rushers who will not repent. So when that person strays, he will go after you. Because me na kwambia, watch and wa show why this thing is so personal to me. There's one time, you know, I was so deep, deep, deep down, down, down in the darkness of sin. Darkness. Yani, hadi na feel hapa, kutoka ni noma, walai, kutoka hapa zini, tatoka aje. But guess what? God alinifuata uko kwa shimo. Uko penye nilikuwa, uko penye, in that, that darkest pit. God followed me with his love. And I'm telling you, on that day, I remember, it was July 18th, I felt him physically. He showed me so much love and told me, you know what, repent and let us start afresh. Because God is so much concerned with you. God loves you so much that he will not want to lose you at no point of your life. He doesn't want to lose you. He loves you so, so much. You're going back to school. You've done your exams. You're wondering where is God in all this? God is there. God loves you. God loves you. It doesn't matter what you've gotten. God still loves you. He has a plan for you. You're going back to school. You are feeling exhausted emotionally. Still, God, the, God loves you. May God love minister to you as you're going back to school. May God love minister to you as you're beginning this new chapter after you've done your, your, your exams and you've gotten your results. In the next chapter of your life, may God love minister to you. God loves you so, so much that even your sin can never separate you from him. Even what you do can never separate God loves from you. It will never. Today, I want you to remember one thing, that God love. God is love. God is love in everything you do. God is love and he loves you so, so much. Amen? Amen. Yes, and the church said? Amen.